All right. Welcome to the Set Breaker Podcast. And today we have a guest. And this guest's name is Mr. John Taylor. Yes. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being on. We have been trying to make this work. It's It's been a, a, a little bit of a journey. Yeah, about a month, a month coming, but we're here now. I don't usually do this, but I feel like... Uh, I almost just want to jump straight into it. Really? Because we had such a great conversation about it, this last you know, we, time. We got really deep with the convo. Yeah. It, was in, in, like, it wasn't even going there. It, it, we were signing up at an open mic, uh-huh. and then I don't even know how we got on the subject, and then we got like to the epic center of the subject, and then it was like, hey, we should, we should talk about this, and I was like, you know what? I'm down. And you know what? It's a topic that most men are afraid to talk about, or even admit to themselves, or even acknowledge I'm gonna say exists. most people, not just men. You're actually you're you know? absolutely right. Uh-huh. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think everybody's wondering what this topic is. They are. I hope we build it up enough. Okay, so guys, the topic that me and John are talking about has to do with not just relationships, right? But abusive relationships. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this fucking dark like ass how, improv. Why are, why are we laughing at at abusive <laughs> relationships though? <laughs> I, I don't know because it's funny. I don't know. Is it funny? I, I mean, okay. <laughs> and and to be clear, yeah, we are the abusee. No, the yeah, we're the abusee. Abusees, not, we're not the, the abusers. abusers. So yeah, we're the so ones. That's, that's getting why abused. we're laughing. So yeah, yeah. we're not. We're not <laughs> laughing at. Ah, I, we hurt her feelings. My favorite way to hit a chick is uh, I, I like the overhand right. You yeah, know? yeah, you know, like a little, a little, little uppercut, and then you know, like a backspin fist. I think we, I think we just got canceled in the first six minutes, Joe. I th- I think we did. Yeah. And um, but you know, at least we got canceled together. Oh, there we go. Found it. Bam. Okay. All right. No, guys. Seriously, don't do it. We're the <laughs> no, ones no. that got abused. We got abused. We got abused. Okay. Got so <laughs> <laughs> why are we laughing still? Why are because we laughing I think, over this? I don't know. Man? You have to. You have to. Or else you have, you laugh to keep from crying. That's true. Because yeah, yeah. It's like a defense mechanism, but also I think we just kind of learned how to view it this way yeah through pain i think yeah you can laugh at you can laugh at it afterwards it wasn't it wasn't funny during but afterwards it's kind of like holy crap what did i go through and why why did i why did i stay in that yeah yeah actually you know what you just made me realize this i think the reason why it's funny for people like us is because we have to constantly be introspective Mm -hmm. due to uh you know our 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 choice in career, which is like stand up, which is yeah. something you know, right, and you can't not do that, right. And when there's a level of accountability in these, you know, traumatic experiences, then you can find the funny in it. I think. Oh, of course. Right. The the, the afterwards funny and like the, I want to say unbelievableness, but that's not a word. But I, I get it. Though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's like, funner it's, to say it's, that. It's like Funner. what the hell was I thinking? That's crazy that I that I I did that or I allowed that to happen. Mm. Okay, so <clears throat> might be time to uh, just say it. Let's go. Okay. It's been a couple years since you've been in a relationship. Yeah, I haven't been in a service relationship for about five years now. For a good reason. Yeah. Because the last relationship, it was it was it was tough. It was, oh man, heavy. Like, I was damn near married. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I wasn't engaged or anything, but there were years in that relationship. And man, we uh, we went through the full gamut of, of, we covered everything. Fights, high points, low points, breakups, get-togethers, who's cheating on who. We did it all. So I, I, don't, need, I don't need that for for some time right now i'm going to take a break from all that yeah because yeah. you said how many years again seven eight eight years eight years eight years which was pretty much all of your 20s which is which is longer than most marriages now if you really want to be honest yeah people yeah. aren't staying together for eight years anymore heck no yeah no wait um that's 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 90s marriage right there that's not 2000s marriage yeah 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 because we don't believe in going through the shit yeah to trying to make things happen. Yeah, right. But also, I think that 
especially women just kind of didn't have a choice. <laughs> <You> know, like, <laughs> yeah, true. They were like, they were like, I want to leave. Well, you can't work anywhere. Good luck trying to find a job and support yeah. yourself and the kids. So then they're stuck. Which now is, they got options. They got options. <laughs> they got <laughs> options for work. <laughs> yeah. And mans. Yeah, and mans. And Lots mans. of mans. And you got options for clothes because I'm digging that shirt that you're wearing, that rubber ducky shirt. I my little sister got this for me, and this is this is so my flavor right here. And and it it looks like it's like fitted, like it fits you. It's it's very yeah, you know, it shows off the biceps a little bit. Yeah, it, it it's, does. So it's like you know, it's 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 like friendly shirt. Yeah, yeah. But this body will fuck you up. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like, it's like uh, you're almost like a wolf in sheep's clothing Bam. except the wolf chopped off like the sleeves of the right the sheep. he's still flexing yeah he's still flexing right and he's like so you sure you want to do this you, you sure you don't want to mess with this herd you sure yeah this is my herd yeah 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 because yeah. this sheep is worth 50 sheep <laughs> <laughs> what because this sheep i will graze you i will graze you motherfucker let him know that was a hell of a tangent. It was a tangent. <laughs> you, 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 you like how I'm trying not to like, like, f- like blitz you with uh-huh. this this topic. You know, what? you know, I if you want to dive in, I brought the scuba gear. We can go. We can go subterranean. Yeah, well, let's let's do it. What am let's I doing? Just, just like, right? like because they didn't. They don't care about wolf references. Yeah, they don't give a fuck. No, dude. But some of them might. Some if they tuned in for wolf references, then I think they're on the wrong podcast. Okay. Eight years relationship. Eight years relationship. Okay. It was abusive. It was abusive at times. I don't want to say the whole time, but definitely there were some times I was like, this should not be happening between two people who love each other. What was the first moment where you thought, maybe? Because the first time something happens in a uh-huh. relationship, we're always kind of like, did that just happen? Well, see, the, the thing about me is it was my first relationship too. So I didn't know if like this is the norm. And she took your virginity? Yeah. That wow. too. So you're, all- you're you're gonna you're gonna just serve me up, hey, aren't man, you? Jesus do it. Christ. Do it. <laughs> you you are you're you're cooking me like Benny Hanna style. You're slicing me and dicing me and 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 flipping shit, making I, a, making I, I wasn't ready volcano. to be this, this dissected today. I thought it was gonna be like just a little, you know, garnish, but you're you're really you're chopping me. You gotta understand. I've been looking forward to this episode for have you? a long. I swear to God, I have. Okay, I would think right. about it weekly. I'm like, man. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I should have signed a waiver. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> Go NDA, NDA. Right, right. right, right Don't right, release right. this until I'm 60. Nope, nope. <laughs> <laughs> no. Your future wife's like, right? honey, what? What is, what, this? what is this? Oh my God. This yeah. Could, yeah, this is gonna be evidence in court one day for some marriage yeah. or something. Like he has commitment issues. Look at him. No, but what I think she'll do, she'll she'll be like. I did not know that happened to you. Come here, come here. Because your future wife, because you learned from this past uh-huh. relationship, is going to be so caring, so loving, and exactly. What Either you. that, or she'll be like, you know what? You deserve it. Depending on what you did. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, she'll, yeah, yeah. She'll look at it like, no wonder. And I, 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 I get it now. Yeah. That's if you That's <laughs> if you forgot to do the dishes. Right, yeah. But if, if you remember to do the dishes and all the things you said you were going to do. Then we'll be okay. It's going to be good. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She took my virginity. I gave it to her. You gave it to her. I gave it to her. Damn. She she deflowered me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Damn. I was a, a very late bloomer. How late are we talking? 20s? Like 21? See, this is why we get along, because that's a, the exact same age I Oh, word? I got deflowered. Oh, snap. I swear to God. Wow, okay. Yeah, nobody touched me up until then. I wasn't touching people either, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I, was, I was such a nerd. I still am. I still am, but like I was just hanging out with my boy. We would watch anime and barbecue, and that was our thing, and that's still our thing. But like I, yeah, I love both. By the way, just saying. Well, then come by, dude. I'm down as fuck. Man. I'm there. <laughs> I'm there. I'm serious. All right, we'll we'll make it happen. Okay, we'll make, we'll make it happen. It happen. Okay. Um, yeah, I wasn't really talking to girls in high school. Definitely wasn't talking to girls in college. I was cooler in high school than I was in college. I guess in college, because in college, like. You know, you're you're such a small person in like a you know, there's thousands of people in college and in high school there's hundreds of people. In high school you at least you can you have the same classes, so you you build those relationships. I I was on the basketball team, I was on the track team, so like people saw me. But in college I was just some dude in the class, like in the second row. And I chose political science, which had like little to no girls in the class. So yeah, I was definitely a scrub in, in high school. I mean, um in college. I was I was a scrub in high school too, but definitely in college. Super super scrub yeah i didn't come out i didn't come out my shell until after uh college how did you come out of your shell um i started losing weight 
started running. So you were very overweight? Like how I was oh, okay, let me put this in like body type. I was like he probably goes to hometown buffet once a week overweight. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. Like not not I was obese, not fat, but obese. Like I was still athletic, but I wasn't like the fastest dude on the court. But I could still hang for like a full game. So you're kind of like um that UFC fighter that that white dude with the mullet. Which one? He can bang. He can, he can go, he can go, but he's he's got that big ass belly. I if yeah, if you take away his muscles, that's probably what I was cuz yeah, I didn't yeah. have the muscles at all. Okay. Yeah. So then you worked hard to lose that weight and then yeah. things just started to change. Oh, instantly. <laughs> like right, right away like that? It's so crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I lost I lost like uh and I've I've done this too many times so like weight's a problem for me i lost like 30 pounds and uh i was working in a movie theater this so let me tell you the story first about why i even like got into the, the weight loss thing i was chilling with this one chick at the concession stand and uh, i had a big crush on her and um this was back the time when american idol and ruben was on i don't know if you how old are you Ruben stuttered. Yeah. Okay. So you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I ain't gonna do no more this year. 2004. Yeah. 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 I love yeah. that song. So yeah. around 2004. So um, I was I was like you know kicking game. I always had like I could always flirt. Flirting is never a problem for me, but um, I could never take it from verbal to physical. I just don't know what that step is. So anyways, she she called me cute like a teddy bear. And I remember it burned because the night before Sharon Osbourne had called Ruben Stuttered America's teddy bear. Ooh. And I was like, holy shit, I can't sing. So this can't, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this, 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 this isn't going to work. Yeah, yeah. So the next day uh, I was living in Culver City at the time. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to run to the beach and back. And that was nine miles. And that took me like three hours. Like I was just like, fuck it, I'm going to do it. And I did it. And then I was like, okay. Every day we're going to go faster. And then I just started doing it until I did like nine miles in an hour and five minutes. Yeah. Like I was just, I was religious with it. And one day I showed up to work and like they all noticed on the same day. It was crazy. Uh, Cause people don't notice like until you drop a lot. And that's the problem. Like if you're, if you're going through it, You'll 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 want to give up because nobody's saying anything. You're trying so hard, but you have to stick with it. And then once they all noticed, everybody noticed. And then I was like invited to parties and shit. <laughs> Just right away. Right away, like that night. Like, hey, dude, John, like, dude, you're not we, fat anymore. You're not fat anymore. Hey, you, I, I got to stay this weekend, right? Yeah. How did that? That must have felt good, but also felt, not good at the same no, time. Well, no. I mean, for me, it felt good. Like I was never. I just wasn't around those people. You understand? So it wasn't like, like, I'm not going to meet you if I'm not a comedian. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't going to be talking to those girls unless I was like actually in that circle. I was never in that circle. But once I like got in the circle, I was cool. I was able to hang out with them and everything. So it wasn't like that they said I couldn't come. It was just, I was, I just wasn't in the circle. Now I'm in the circle. Now it's like, okay, he's in. Okay, got it. So I kind of earned my way in, which is a very shallow way, but that's what happened. No, I get what you mean. It's you know kinda, what I'm saying? It's kind of like stand-up, too. If 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 somebody goes to an open mic like once a month, and then nobody's going to take him seriously. Right, exactly. But if you see them all the time, eventually you're going to be like, you know what? Like, I'll, I'll start saying what's up to him. Exactly. Like, right? I get, right, exactly. I get that. I get you got to be Because people come and go. Yes. Don't they? Oh, big time. I can't even win it. Yeah. Yeah. But now you're back. I'm back, and I'm I'm here to stay. Some shady. Yeah. Guess who's back? Guess who's back. Okay. Back again. Back again. So then all of a sudden you became this fucking, this <laughs> badass bearded I was still, warrior. I was still a dork though. I was still a but dork. But on the, but physically. Physically. Right? Physically, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then, and then you started dating, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I had a crush on this girl I was going to church with. Um, and I mean- just the cutest, most beautiful girl you've ever seen. You know what I'm saying? Like short, big eyes, anime eyes. Anime eyes. Anime eyes. Uh, anime hips. Like <laughs> Anime hips? <laughs> anime hips. What's an anime hip? Oh. Are what? you talking about like the- I'm talking- Oh, the super like- Yes. I get you. I get you. Come on now. Okay, okay. Please. Beyond Southern Thick with yeah. slimness. But, but like- 
in shape. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's like, what I mean. Like, yeah. Yeah, 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 like yeah, superhero, yeah. like not natural. Yes, but amazing. Not natural, but all natural. But all natural. Yes. Okay, so she had the anime eyes and anime just hips. everything. And I, I was, I was smitten. I was smitten by this kitten. Yeah. And um, yeah, she she was a dork too, so it worked out. And then we started dating, and then um, eventually, after like a couple months of dating, we got in a relationship. And you know what's funny? Like it happens. I think it happens with everybody when you're dating. Everything's cool. But once you get that title, like shit just changes. And I don't know why. Yeah. I'm always, I don't know. I don't know. Like I'm always afraid to to go that girlfriend, boyfriend step now. I would rather just date and let's have fun. And then you can tell me you're bored of me. Because I can take breakups. Yeah. I can take breakups. I hate breaking up. Uh, okay. You're going to have to. I'm, I'm gonna get a little lost right there. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So like, I can you, take breakups, yeah, but if she dumps me, oh, then you can handle it. I can handle it, but you have a hard time. I break, have a hard time doing it, doing it to them. Oh, I get, the, I get you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I would rather, I would rather you tell me I'm, I'm tired of you, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> so, so you're the type of dude to if you're, if you're done with it. You'd rather slowly kind of stop doing the things you used to do to the point where she's kind of like not, not like mean stuff in a way, right. but just like. You're you're a little less attentive, maybe, and less time, something like that. Well, I give them I give them a surgeon general's warning as soon as they meet me. Like, yo, what I'm not look, me, please. anything, nothing serious. I say, you know, I'm not looking for anything serious. Let's just have fun, blah blah. blah. Um, you'll probably have to dump me, dude. You do realize anytime guys say that up front, it really turns the girl on. But why? They like a challenge, huh? I don't. It's a challenge, but also it's like. Wow, this guy's like a like a man's man. He's so like honest and real and says what the what he thinks. But I think mostly it's like a challenge thing. Cause I used to say, Hey, uh, this is fucked up. But when I was like in my early twenties, when I first started, you know, learning these things and trying to attract girls, uh, cause nobody touched me. Nobody touched me for my whole life, right? Get, <laughs> right. That, get that straight. I was desperate, so just don't judge me. Uh-huh. I learned these tactics where I'd say I'd copy my friends and they'd be like, Hey, you know what? Like early on, like, you don't you don't want to get too close to me because like I just, <laughs> I, uh, cause uh, you know, I, like, I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt your feelings, you know, cause I'm, See, I, yeah, I don't know if I'm ready for it. smooth with it though. Is it? I think yours is smooth too. No, though. you don't want to get too close to me. Like that, that's, that's um, some, <laughs> oh, that's some like drifter. I'm on a motorcycle oh, leather jacket shade shit. Is it? Like you live in the desert. If you talk like that, you don't want to get too close to me. I'm a, I'm a loner. I'm just passing through town. In Terminator clothes. Yeah. Too close. You know what I'm saying? I'm like. I live in LA, but we're just not, get, we're going to be awkward in public after this. So I don't know, but the way you said it, it sounded like smooth. I try to, I don't, I just don't want to lie. Like I hate lying. I hate lying and I hate being lied to. So I, I try to just tell them like straight up, look, especially now, like it's holiday season. This is danger season. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Cause it's like, you want, this, this is dating season in LA. The, the weather drops, there's ice skating rinks everywhere. You want to do shit. But come MLK Day, free at last, free, free at, at last. last. Thank God Almighty, I'm free at last. Like, thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's where we, we're done. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. You really thought this out, man. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Okay. But this this uh, anime girl, mm -hmm. she's not the one that did all that stuff, right? Did or, all stuff. Like you, the the abuse. No, no, I was in a, a full committed relationship with her. There was no, there was no warning. Um, we actually we were dating for a while, and she was the one hesitant to make me her boyfriend. I was, I was very like, be my girlfriend. Like I probably asked her to be my girlfriend like like three, four times, and I didn't think about it. Man, you are a persistent man. She, she was amazing. She was amazing. She is amazing. She just can beat the shit out of me sometimes. <laughs> Okay, so they're the same person. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. I'm gonna fall for an anime chick. Oh you know what I'm saying? God. Okay. So in the beginning, she was just amazing, right? Amazing. Everything was cool. Um, like when we first became boyfriend girlfriend, not really too many fights, not really you know any big disagreements or anything. Just just chill, man. Just just like new experiences, new restaurants, new everything. Everything was new. And I think that's the key to it. Keep shit new. Um, but then, yeah, it went it went south. It went south, big time. Um, so, 
I also worked at I worked at a school, and um, I don't know how, but this this school had the baddest teachers. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I'm a flirt. So I was R. Kelly. I'm a flirt. Can we not? Oh, R. I Kelly? forgot. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I, I haven't watched that. Can you at least D Pain or something? I mean, yeah. or, I'm sprung. Yeah, there you go. Come well, D Pain is on the the I'm a flirt. Is he on that one too? Yeah, he's on that. Oh one. yeah, he. Oh, sh- yeah. Okay, okay, okay. We're going with T Pain. Right, yeah, T Pain's right. I'm T-Pain, a flirt. T Pain. T Pain. Oh <laughs> Jesus. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> Because I work at a school, so you can't say. That's right. <laughs> like, oh, that's, that's horrible now. Oh my God, I'm oh. I'm messing up. I'm messing up your shit. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Ah, I'm out. I don't want to do this anymore. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I was I was I was. She caught me texting like a couple of teachers. A couple. A couple. Not even. Okay. Not even just one. Jesus, man. Yeah, I know it was bad. You are a flirt. I am a. But it was all wor- It was all text. Like nothing. But still, I was I was I was fucking up. Yeah, yeah. For sure. yeah no, I never got a teacher's number, even when I was like drooling over them. No, no, but I was working with them. It wasn't like I was a student. I was working with them, so it's different. You know, we're we're. Oh, oh, oh okay. Yeah, like, like yeah, coworker. Yeah, okay, coworker, gotcha, gotcha. coworker, coworker. Um, but yeah, so that was that was that was that was an an event. She actually. What are you doing? Oh, no, no, just, 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 just don't worry. I, I check it sometimes. Just, <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm not looking outside like a creeper. I just, I just check sometimes in case I'm like, it is shuts there, off. Is there a bad chick? No, I, no, I no, no. Do it too. <laughs> it's not. Like, Let me know. Yeah, I will do. Every, I will every do, Sunday at 11:30. I'm gonna do a walk. You gotta see her. I'm gonna do things. And I just, just, I, ignore, I, just, just ignore you. Please. Got you. Yeah. So that that was that was like um, that was an ass whooping right there. We didn't talk much on that subject. She she like she threw some hands on me on that one. Go into detail, please. Oh man, we got we got to know. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> she she was so um, man meticulous. She actually wrote out her argument. You know how some girls just be like, "Who is this bitch?" No, no. She had, who is this bitch? Why are you talking to this bitch? Where'd you meet her? Like, she had a prepared- Who, what, when, where, what? Yeah, like, and that's what that's the, the worst, because it wasn't a blanket statement. So I, I got my ass whooped for every question. It wasn't just a, who is this bitch ass whooping. It was, who is this bitch? Why are you talking to her? Bam. Yeah. And because she was she was tinier than me, like, I had a foot on her. Um, I didn't take it as serious as I should have, because I'm like- She's smart, but some of those connected, and I was like, Jesus Christ. You got to go into more detail, man. What, yeah? What kind of connection are we talking about? We're talking like, you know how they do the ball fist and, and just- The, the just, hammer punch, that, the gorilla punches? Is that what it's called? No, that's what that's called. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The, I got got a couple of hammer punches. Okay. Um, she threw a bottle of lotion at me. Half filled? It, it had something in it. It definitely uh, had some weight to it. Okay. I'll okay. tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> <I'll> sh- <laughs> okay. And not the watery kind, like the thick, intensive care. So, like you know, the PSI hurt. The pounds per square inch was 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 getting me. Damn. Yeah, okay. yeah. That was that. So then I was like, okay, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna stop talking to other chicks, right? So I did that. And then we just used to fight. After that, though, I think the trust was broken. And we should have just we should have talked then like yo can I can I repair this or is this gonna always be something that we we are not gonna let go, and I think it was something we never let go, because not only that she actually started texting somebody to get back at me right after that right after that like the next day, and like she left her phone and I was able to catch it she didn't do it on purpose but you know what I'm saying like I it like it was a damn it was tit for tat. Eye for an eye. Eye for an eye, text for a text. Yeah. That was that was like episode one. How early into the relationship did it happen? Pretty early. A Pretty year? early. I would say probably about two years in. Two years in. Okay. Two years in. Okay. So that, since it happened two years in and it lasted eight years overall, mm-hmm. that seed that, that was planted at that time, that moment, it was always just kind of there slowly kind of growing. Growing. Into something. Like a like a dormant volcano, you know what I'm saying? Got it. Like it's still a volcano, even though it's dormant, even though it hasn't been active for years. 
one bad shake and we can lava is going to be everywhere. So yeah, that well, the Hawaiians that was, are getting burnt up. Yeah, yeah. We don't want that. We don't want that. That's that's a that's a national emergency. We want them hula wing, hula wing, hula hula ing, hula wing. Oh, hula hula hulu, hula 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 hula. 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 Okay, okay. Hula. Yeah. Hula. Start texting this guy. Yeah. Did she take it further? Nah, because I caught it. I don't know if she was going to take it further. Yeah. But I caught it pretty early. Okay. And I, you know, I was like, why would you do that? If I, like, she was like, you did it to me. I was like, yeah, but I did, I was an asshole. Don't be an asshole back. That's not how this is going to, you know, that's not how we're going to grow. But because she she was out for blood. And, um, yeah, she started texting the guy. So then we actually kind of broke up a little bit. You know, like we took a break for like two weeks or some shit like that, something stupid, and got back together again. Yeah. It was a lot of that. Um, and then, And then when we got back together, we would still argue, still have these fights about dumb shit because now the trust the trust was already like broken and i remember i forgot what we were even fighting about but one time <laughs> i used to make her homemade ice cream That's like adorable right yeah and then she threw the ice cream maker at me oh <laughs> yeah Right after making her ice cream? No, no, no. <laughs> like, it was just I, it was just on the, the counter. And she just picked it up? Picked it up. How heavy are we talking about? Dude, like a like a damn Cuisinart <laughs> ice cream maker. Like, we're talking like 10 pounds type? <sighs> Probably about 15, 20. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. She 10, threw it at you. 10 to 15. Okay, why did she throw it at you? Because we were breaking up. Because we were, we were fighting a lot. And I was like, I don't want to do this at what point what what time like what year year in probably that was probably like three and a half to four right there okay okay so <laughs> so we're, we're we're getting heavier as as it goes yeah yeah so yeah. you were like babe i think uh we should i'm like we're not because the like i said we were already we were fighting the trust was you know due to me i started it accountability respect. yeah you know i'm not gonna bullshit yeah. um and i was like you know let's like why don't Let's both be with somebody we're, we can trust and be happy with. But that's the thing. She would rather just torture me than to be with somebody else and be chill. And I didn't get that. Why Why put yourself through that? I guess she enjoyed it. Right? I think there's a, that's the codependency factor in there. She probably needed you to um, <clears throat> validate her identity in life, which is uh, she operates through the lens of victimhood she's the constant victim and it might be something that she was used to growing up right because i would do stuff like that as well i would yeah constantly be dating girls that were crazy early on uh -huh. because it was normal to me because right. i grew up in a, in a household where the my parent it was a very unhealthy relationship between them and my nervous system felt that that was normal right Isn't that weird it's very strange. Even though I knew logically, like, this is fucked up, everything in me just wanted to stay and, like, keep recreating that pattern and that and an unhealthy process of just, like, you're doing this, you're doing that, well, but, you know, you know like, all that shit. Was it, was it so much that, like, because I think, I think for her, or us, rather, it was the fear of being alone versus the fear of being in a bad relationship. And I said, I would rather be alone than, than to be in this all the time. Um, my parents were divorced too. Or were your parents divorced or what? They should have, honestly. <laughs> no, I, I always talked to my mom. I was like, why don't you just divorce him? Uh -huh. like, I don't know. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we had this conversation like maybe a few months ago. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, my parents, my parents were divorced. And like my dad came back once and stayed for like a year or two. And then bounced again, so I I I don't I I never knew what the TV household that you know what I'm saying white the, picket fence yeah, yeah just yeah. you know the white the, the white people family shit all that sh yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 Disney step channel. by shit Disney channel step by step oh my god yeah 
They, they didn't make like fucking divorced parents sitcoms in the 90s. Do they make them now? I th- I don't know if they're sitcoms now, but uh-huh. yeah, they make these like little lifetime right? drama yeah. shows. But, but like you need yeah. you need to bring humor into it too because like people with, with single parents need to know, yeah, our family's fucked up, but ev- other people are going through it too and it, it can be funny. Two and a half men, right? <sighs> they were rich. Oh yeah, that's they true. live in Malibu. Like uh, I'll take okay, that yeah. over a happy. <laughs> you, you're right. You're right. Yeah. We, you okay? Yeah. You wanted to see the, the oh, divorced see parent who's struggling, struggling, paying the, the child support, the the final notice. You know, yeah, where's yeah, the past yeah. due bills at? Yeah. That's what I need to see. Damn. Yeah. Real shit. So I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. I never knew what the whole. I never had that experience of the the happy marriage, happy couple. Never had that. Never seen that. So I didn't know. Like part of the reason why i stayed i was like i i see people i hear people talking about their girlfriends crazy or you know oh she hits me all the time so i'm like okay suck it up man oh yeah like it's like it's normal you know what i'm saying yeah, i was like yeah. okay go through it if this if this is what other people are doing then you're not the only one this is how it kind of goes and i was i mean i was a rookie i had no idea what what <laughs> what dates were or anything you know yeah nothing I grew up a lot in that relationship. That that one that one gave me wisdom. Like you only Old get wi- man wisdom. Like you get wisdom from ass whoopings. That was a you, hyperbolic time you, chamber. Yes. Yeah. I'm I'm like I'm seventy in marriage years now. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Already divorced. <laughs> oh yeah. Like visitation on the weekends, all that's good stuff. I'm I'm I got my masters <laughs> off of that relationship. Respect. Yeah. Respect. Mm, okay you know what yeah um because the first time that i got hit by mm-hmm. my ex this is the one that taught me a lot <clears throat> she uh it just kind of can't comes out of nowhere right yeah like when you don't the when you least expect it yeah she just we were in the car and i didn't say i don't even, i don't think i said anything bad i'm 100 percent certain of that and it's just kind of like Looks at me with the she okay. She takes her fist. She she took boxing lessons. Oh crap! So it wasn't like a like a <laughs> right. It was like a whoop, boom. Damn. On my arm, and it actually hurt. Uh-huh. And I was like, I looked at my arm. See my goosebumps coming up. I do. I look. You're reliving it. I'm reliving. Your it. hair is literally sticking. I have goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> right, you can see the goosebumps. Yeah! <laughs> Guys, I have goosebumps right now. But Jesus. I looked at my arm. The way she punched me on my shoulder, my right arm, and I look at her face. And she still had her fist up, like next to her chin, just like wow. With this waiting face. for the she was super. Attack? She had anime eyes too. She had it's huge, eyes, nice ja- anime fucking Vietnamese eyes. <laughs> and then she uh, looked at me with this look of like, "I want to fucking kill you," uh-huh. like out for blood type of expression, you know? Yeah. And I was like, my brain was like, "Wait a minute, wait, is that normal? Should that have happened?" Right. And then I'm like, wait a minute. And you start like working out, like justifying it. Oh, but guys, like that's how girls flirt. Mm-hmm. They're like, hey, it's, and that's, that's around. a big problem too, man. Yeah. We always get taught like if, if, if somebody picks on you, they like you. They're only doing that because they like you. Oh, yeah, dude. They hit you, right? In a or, way. or like some girls are even taught if the guy doesn't hit you in a relationship, he doesn't care. Like if he, if he doesn't go to that extreme, yep. then he's like less of a man. Yeah, because a real man, quote unquote, exactly. will keep his woman in check, yeah, which is yeah, it's bullshit. Beyond bullshit, it's beyond bullshit. But yeah, and then like, here's what happens in the girl's head, or for us, it was right. a girl. They realized at that moment because we did not retaliate and retaliate in terms of not not not, 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 not hit back, but more like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, put right. your foot down. Like, are you stupid? Like, I'm done. We didn't do that. No, and they knew. Oh, uh, we're I'm I'm in, and I can, and I and will. I can, and I will. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Because it only got worse. The yeah. abuse from there, it was like Pandora's box opened. Uh huh. Because before that, she was just, oh, hey, okay, hey. and then went from that to like, what the hell you, you do? What do you mean you don't want to rub lotion on my back? Mm. Okay, I made that part up. I hope so. But that'd be the scariest rub lotion on my back since. I know, ever. right? Because she might take a piano wire and. <laughs> <laughs> choke you fucking kill you right now but like then she would start like verbally abusing me just saying random things like you're ugly i don't know where i'm like really yeah just you're ugly and i was like wait are you serious like are you, are you kind of kidding 
Because she said it like 10 times. Uh-huh. And then finally after like the 10 times, I was like, are you kidding? She's like, mm, no, you're ugly. Wow. And then I was like, what the fuck? So she kept doing that, but I kept letting her do it over and over. All these things, right? You know? Yeah. I, I got the verbal abuse early. The verbal abuse preceded the physical abuse. So it was, it was in the first year. Yeah. She used to cuss the fuck out of me. Like example. Just, oh man. Um... So I used to, I, like I said, I worked at a school and half the time I would come home, like I would, I would be a TA for PE and then I'd have to like come home and shower because, you know, I've been playing Frisbee or whatever the fuck with the kids. So one time, um, I, I had to meet her cause we were going to go to like her sister's house or something. And then, uh, I was like a little late and you know, coming straight home. I didn't do shit. I was just traffic, whatever. So I come home. She's like, you ready to go? I was like, just give me 10 minutes. I got to shower real quick, and then we'll, we'll be on. We'll still make it on time. And she was like, you fucking idiot. Da, 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 to the point where I was like, you know what? I'm cool. You go. And it wasn't until I did that that she was like, okay, maybe I went too far. But just the fact that it was always, it, there was never no like six. It was always one to 10. You know what I'm saying? There was never like a, Hey, you put me in a bad spot being late. You know, I need, we got to be on time or something like that. If she would have said that, I'm like, look, well, I guarantee you we'll get on time. It's going to take me 10 minutes, blah, blah. But it was always like, no, you fucking idiot. I told you. Da, 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 da. And like, this is, this is outside. This is outside the in public. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I mean, there weren't too many people around or something, but, but it's still, but still outside. Like, can yeah. we, can you at least cuss me out in the living room? Can we, <laughs> can we save it? With the windows closed? You know? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> like, yeah. And I was like, whoa. I didn't, it's weird because when you're getting this, in your mind, you're like, would I talk to her like this? And then you're like, should I talk to her like this? Like, should I be matching this? And that was that was my my like internal fight. Sometimes she would say some shit that just crossed the line. And I had the choice to either go cross that line with her or just be like, I'm out. And just like, that's why I I kind of shut down when it went there. I was just like, whatever. Because I was just tired of going there. You know, I didn't want, I didn't want to match that negativity. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to not let it affect me. I'm not going to react verbally. And when I didn't react verbally, that's when the physical abuse would come. See, because... That I, I know that also because we think also oh as the man we gotta not be shaken mm-hmm. we gotta not be stirred we gotta be the rock emotionally but when we do that we're numbing ourselves yeah right you should talk about everything you know yeah 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 like like that's, that's for that's sure what, that's what the relationship is you're supposed to find somebody that you, like if I'm afraid of pillows I should be able to like look pillows scare the shit out of me. Can we not sleep on the bed tonight? Can we sleep on the floor? Can we sleep on the floor where there's no pillows? And she's like, baby, I understand. Right. And if she doesn't get it, she'll be like, okay, did something happen to you? <laughs> right. you know, and, and maybe, yeah, let's talk about that. Yeah. And then let's get over my fear of pillows. Exactly. Or let me understand your fear of pillows so I um, can, I, I know how to operate in this relationship and not, uh, throw pillows on you right because you're not not trigger that so that was okay so um three and a half to four months or years Years. in that's when yeah the verbal abuse or the the no no verbal the physical just just got worse as as the relationship went on okay yeah how much worse are we talking here i mean i think the ice cream was the worst the ice cream because that was like throwing you know that's that that was like that could cause some damage if if that's basically assault with a deadly weapon that's in, in in terms of the law. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. If that would have hit me on the head, I, I would have at least had like some kind of concussion. Break your nose. You right. Know, yeah, brain damage. Yeah. Like anything can happen. Break your jaw. Yeah. Hit, hit man. you the right way. I feel like there's still some like suppressed. Because we look back on those moments just to kind of learn from it. But there's also, we, we still kind of learn to suppress some of that. Yeah. And if right now, the way you just kind of looked. No, no, because I, I was thinking about like how, and I think we had this before camera or maybe just earlier in the interview, yeah. how when you're going through it, 
it's it's kind of normal or like you're like okay no big deal but now that i'm thinking about it, like what you're talking about assault with a deadly weapon like holy shit it was like holy shit if that would have hit me in my face or like you know somewhere like a rib or something it could have cracked her like you know what i'm saying like she launched that shit at me like like hadouken oh like that <laughs> two-handed like you know full like force. pulled it back yeah it was it was it was yeah yeah it was yeah nobody does a hadouken movement when they're angry and and don't have the intent to hurt you. oh no that's yeah there's only one reason to do a Hadouken, and that's to burn your opponent's torso. For sure. Yeah. Because that's when all the other moves aren't really working right? anymore. So fuck it. We got to throw something at this fool. Because the kicks use, and punches we're aren't have working. We have to use energy blast. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, man. Okay. I feel like we're somewhere. Like, we're at this point where I feel it. Like, we're in the pocket. Okay. All right. So this abuse lasted for years. Yeah. How often would these things happen? Like all the time or a lot? Or no, no, okay, maybe not all the time, but a lot? A lot, like too much, you know? Okay, like once like, a day? I feel like it's got to be once a day, little things here and there. Like, uh, right? Not once a day. I mean, if it's once a day, then, then, I'm, then I'm a sucker for abuse. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it wasn't, it was, it was probably like once a week or once every two weeks or something, just way too often for But a big, a big moments are we talking Big mo- the big moments, like like physical abuse, or so. What do you say? Like what one every like one week or two weeks? Are you talking like what kind of thing are we talking? I guess I'm just talking about like some fight where we just cross the line verbally and say some. Oh, shit. I see what you mean. Okay. And then the abuse was not. Yeah, the physical abuse was probably like a couple months, like once every two months, some shit like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you shouldn't, there should not be a schedule. For <laughs> you know, right. Oh, it's, uh, it's about time, honey. It's a full moon, so. Uh, <laughs> Get that ice cream machine right? again. Let's, let's, let's go. Yeah. Yeah, so. Just, yeah, I just, I was like, this is not healthy. This is not healthy for me. It's not healthy for her. And. Yeah, I, would, I, I was like, I can't do this. I'm out. And then I just had to stick to that. And even with that, I still like, <laughs> like six months later, called her back and shit. Ah, uh, yeah, I get you. What the hell's wrong with me? Damn. What's okay? You called her back, and then what would you do? Like, or I don't know if I called her back or if I like saw her, but either way, we just started talking again. You know, because you, it's weird. If it wasn't for this podcast, I wouldn't even be talking or focusing so much on that part the the physical abuse and the verbal abuse because when i miss her i'm not like oh man i wish somebody would throw an ice cream maker at me (laughs) you know yeah like i'm like holy shit like it's it's holidays i wish she would cook for me again i wish i could show her my new recipes and shit like we had we had some really that's that's what i think made it so hard is we had really 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 good times together too Mm. so like if it was all bad then i it would have been like a a a two-month relationship i'm out fuck you but it wasn't like she she put me on a lot of shit she made me want to be a better person too so it's the confliction of the love and want to like not get the abuse like maybe if i just be the best john taylor i can be she wouldn't hit me so hard or some shit i know you know what that's like right there that ties in with childhood right there yeah did you ever feel at that like a certain moment in your life because you know your parents were divorced, all that. That maybe if you were a better son, maybe maybe they could have like stayed together, or maybe they would have loved you, like give you more attention. Was uh, there any of that at all? Or I don't. I'm a, just it's no because my dad left early. Oh, early. Life. Okay, got it. I think I was probably about like three. Yeah. If that, if that, or maybe even two. I remember him coming back. I don't remember him leaving the first time. Mm. So, um. But I did want to be a better son for my mom. Okay. And I did get my ass whooped on the reg in childhood too. So I was kind of used to ass whoopings. Not kind of. I was used to ass whoopings. Yeah. You know, from women, black women. Specifically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because my, my dad was the one that would hit me. Yeah? Yeah. Like oh, all the man. time. He would throw me around for no reason. Really? Yeah. That's why when I got hit, I was like, wait a minute. So like my brain recognized that and, uh-huh. and, and like 
thought of it as like this is love. So then, what was it? Because like for me, I was just getting you know uh, abuse <laughs> from <laughs> from one black woman to another black woman. But what was it like getting? from a man to a woman did it feel like you know what i'm saying did it trigger the same emotions or was it different or it it's different in this case uh all right okay i'll start with this i don't really get angry but if a guy does like some bullying tactics on me uh-huh i'll i will change if somebody's like tries to like f- my dad used to do this thing where he'd get his two fingers put it against my forehead and just like shove my head and say really in korean what are you gonna do, huh? What are you gonna do, huh? Wow. And I'm like, I'm like six years old. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? You think I'm gonna do, motherfucker? Right? No, it's, it's funny now, but I was just like, wow. I was. He would bully the fuck out of me, and I felt so helpless, you know. And I think that's why I like did wrestling in high school and like started working out. And I was mm. like, nobody's gonna fuck with me like the way my dad. Yeah. With wow. Me. Right. And that. And when I see dudes bully other fucking helpless people, that's when I get. I'm a very I'm a pacifist, easygoing guy. I am a protector. I am willing to hurt a motherfucker if I see injustice in terms of bullying or towards children or towards another, like elderly, anybody. I'll fucking wild out, man. Yeah. I, you know, like, I'm not, I'm not threatening somebody that's not even right? there. I swear to God, you motherfuckers, <laughs> if you do Dude, that. Wasn't <laughs> yeah, so in that case, it affected that. Uh-huh. But in terms of the relationship, it, it, yeah, you just made me remember. Fuck. Cause my mom would get abused by him too. Uh-huh. Physically abused. He'd lock the door and she'd be screaming. And I'm on the other side of the wall, just with my ear against it, just feeling helpless. And I would tell myself, when I get old enough, I'm gonna murder him. Really? I swear to God. Wow. That's why I worked out so hard too. Wow. But I didn't want to, but I was like, I wanted to hit him so bad. But I said if I did that, we'd be on the streets. Right. Because my mom wasn't working. Uh-huh. Damn, we just got real deep. Right? Damn, son. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. We might have to like do another one of these in like two, three years. I think we should. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We'll we'll, we'll do another episode. 100%, yeah. Because I'm probably, I think there's more in there. Oh. There's a to, lot in there. Well, we have to do fucking child abuse now. Like, <laughs> No, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. No, no. We should. We should. We should, though. Let's not wait for two years. Maybe like a year or something. Yeah. Not even a year. We can do like, just hit me hit me in March. We can do it in March. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll do we'll do yeah. that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We just, we got into some deep shit. But okay. Before I forget. Right. I remember, okay. Okay. <laughs> Yo, my man, my man. Yo, yo, I knew, I knew, I, I knew when I met you, man. I fucking knew. Okay. That's crazy. So <laughs> I felt guilty. Uh huh. As like, it's like I was trying to make up for what my dad did to my mom. Like, oh, I, I cannot be that guy. I cannot be him. Yeah. So the woman let her do. She's free to do what the fuck she wants. Like, so when she'd hit me, I became more forgiving. Because I saw my dad do horrible things to my mom, right? And I didn't want to be him. Right. But by doing that, I became my mother. Right. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. And I I didn't and now so like because I would always I would always break up, but she, she would always apologize and I always take her right back. And I was like, okay, I don't want to be the guy who gives up on this woman. I don't want it to be me like like i don't like i know what you can be yeah, yeah. and i want to see you become that with me the I potential want, yes. together to you know grow. what i'm saying because like i i i say i don't want to get married but i i want a fucking family you know i want it yeah. of course i'm bachelor right now but like i want i do want that deep, want, deep inside deep inside yeah mm-hmm. i want to decorate trees with my son you know and shit like that i want i want to go on the family vacation road trip and be like shut the fuck up we're almost at the grand canyon dude you really want it yeah that's that's good and ah, man it's weird like ah because even even (laughs) all the bullshit (laughs) yeah she's still the closest thing i had to like marriage you know I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we got, we got to a certain level that I didn't we didn't we probably didn't realize we were gonna get to. Oh man. There's definitely gonna be a part two. Yeah. Hundred fucking percent. Shit. <laughs> Damn, man. Yeah. That's why I'm not I don't know, man. Too much. Too much. 
Huh? Yeah. Yeah, so that's why. Mm-hmm. And, and my current girlfriend, she don't do that. How long have you been with your current girlfriend? <sighs> It'll be two years in January. Oh, and good. um but it, but it took years to, like, get that out of my system. Yeah. I don't think that, it's going to be. That psycho shit. And then, like, actually, I, I would close myself off to women and then make them start to fall in love with me. Mm-hmm. Not, like, make them, but I would do the right things. But I always knew this ain't going to go anywhere. See? Because I had to feel like I was still, like, cared for and do, like, the lo- like kind of the love stuff without actually investing. Because I was so traumatized from the, that two-year relationship. It was off and on. But. It was traumatic, man. It was to the point where I would doubt. She gaslighted me so much, gaslit me to the point where she'd always say, "That didn't happen. Mm. You didn't say that, baby. Are you babe, are you okay? Did you sleep?" Wow. And this cute little she had the cutest voice too. Yeah, they all so do. innocent, <laughs> and it fucking gaslit me so bad. I doubted every thought I had mm-hmm. outside of the relationship, even. Like I would walk. I was walking on eggshells twenty four seven. I had high levels of anxiety, and I didn't trust. Any thought I had, like, wait a minute, are you sure? Did you really turn in your homework? Like, it was that bad, dude. Were you hanging out with your friends while you were dating her, or was she like your your all your free time? I gave her all my free time. Me too. Because it was a long distance relationship too. But she visited a lot as well. Like, right. every, like whatever, however long, and be there. But I was always FaceTiming her. I was. She'd always be like, I can't sleep, and I'd mm-hmm. be like, Oh, I'm here for you. I'm here for you. And I realized. That's also part of the manipulation process. Yeah. Because she knew I'm going to throw away anything to be. I was even going to leave my college, my my Cal State. Really? I was so like addicted to the drama that I was like, I can just drop this and go to a community college in, Ar- in Arizona. Ooh, out of state community college? I thought that. Damn, son. That she had. And I even thought, dude, <laughs> this is going to get worse. It's going to get worse. Dude. Oh, no. <laughs> I, uh, I was even thinking, if I get her pregnant, we'll have to be together. Forever. Right? Yeah. Because she hooked. That was the first girl that I like really like was like fell for. But she got me good. Oh, they do. And and same age? She was like maybe two years younger. Really? Damn. Yeah, two years younger. She was two years younger. Yeah. I was 20. Yeah, two years younger. That's why I only dig ugly broads now. No more cute chicks for me. I need to stay focused. You, you know stay, what I'm saying? You, stay, you, yeah. You being serious? A little bit. A little bit? <laughs> <laughs> no. Still, yeah, yeah. I was, I was like, nah, 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 nah. You, nah. you, you still got to. Because I, I was doing that too. I was like, you know what? It's all about the personality now. Because she was hot. She was so hot. Of course she was. Saw everything. Of course and, she and then was. I started looking only for the personality. I'm like, look, you know what? I wouldn't normally date you, but. <laughs> but but because I was in a fucked up relationship with a bad chick. I just only care about the personality. <laughs> and you know, I'll tell you this, man. It doesn't really work. No. It doesn't work, man. You can't well, convince yourself. The first thing you see is the looks. It is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. The first thing you see, like if you saw a, a, a 89 Datsun, but it had a Ferrari engine, you're not going to know because it still looks like an 89 Datsun. You'd rather have a Ferrari engine that has an 89 Datsun engine because, it, no, no, a Ferrari car that has an 89 Datsun engine because it still is appealing to the eye. It's going to catch your eye. If it doesn't catch your eye, unless you like work with them or you're in some type of setting where you see them on a regular, yeah, you're, how are you gonna get to know them? That's true because if they also look like a Ferrari on the outside, exactly. The way we do things is the way the human brain is. We look and for ways and the reasons why this person's so great. Yeah, even we'll, if there's we'll, something's we'll missing, add the reasons. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we'll fill in the we'll fill in the blanks. But if the if it's <laughs> uh, if it's like uh whatever. I don't know cars, dude. On the outside, Datsun, Datsun, but the inside's a Ferrari engine. You're going to be like, I see that. But she's, you know, that. And that's the problem. That, that toe. Right. That big toe. That big toe. It's got some fungus on it. You'll, you'll make I excuses. I can't really look past that. And, 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 and it'll have everything you need and want. Yeah. And, yeah. So unless, but um, unless you are in the setting where you see that on the regular, you won't even get to that point. You know what? Like, imagine if Tinder just had personality traits, no pictures. Nobody would give a fuck. Wouldn't that be something? Yeah, but nobody like, if would you give just a fuck. matched 
like if it just said, I like to go to movies, da 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 da, da and you swipe right on that. Like no pictures. Oh, like that. Yeah. Oh, interesting. You know what I'm saying? That would be really interesting. Wouldn't it? That's a that's an interesting concept, dude. That's a very interesting concept. That's your concept. I think we no, honest, to- honestly, like I think I think that's a valid experiment for an app app. If I knew how to make apps, people, I could make that app. Right? No, no, no. I I think that's I'm big that's serious. No, I think, I, now that I think about it, yeah. Like no pictures whatsoever. Yeah. Just one million percent blind date. Like so that way, because I I'm like we were both big on anime, right? Yes, yes. So yes. usually you're not gonna tell a girl you're big on anime. No. But if you if I put that like and then some girls searching for guys who are big, like like they just want to date some guy who's big on anime, now we pop up. Actually, I'm gonna be honest. I I do say that now. Actually, what no, I, now, yeah, now because we're we're older and you're like you're comfortable in your skin, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, well, I was talking about back then. Yeah. Oh, for sure, back then I'd hide that shit. Of course you would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now, like, anime's anime's the shit, dude. Honestly, the kind of bugs it bugs me how I just released a video today where my, Michael B. Because I saw an advertisement where Michael B. Jordan teamed up with Coach to make like, a Naruto fashion. Yeah. And I the first of all the fashion looks whack. Second yeah. of all the advertisement, it makes no sense. They're adding some Dragon Ball elements into it where oh, like really? he, he walks and the pebbles rise i'm like that's not naruto dude i haven't seen the um the the commercial at all but naruto's not coach it's not coach naruto is like champion at best yeah you know what i'm saying or like, even just unique glow yeah unique glow does some like cool stuff you know like it actually made me angry so i maybe i could show it to you after this well yeah we'll but but um You know when you when you hit like a certain point in a conversation where it hits like a part of the heart where you just like kind of forgot some stuff and you remember and you're just you just kind of look off. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> you're like, I got some shit to think about, type of shit. Nah, my day's gonna be different now. <laughs> Me too. I was, gonna, I was gonna get donuts after this. I might just yeah. take a long drive. <laughs> <laughs> I might just go to the beach and and, and, and take just, a bit. Just watch the you know? sunset. And yeah. Shit. I might, I might, it might be one of those days. Yeah, I, I might, I might have to take a long run. But you know, what? it's like, I feel like, as stand-up comedians, we're so used to trying to find the funny and everything. Mm-hmm. We tend to kind of get detached from the seriousness uh, of it. Sometimes, sometimes the seriousness of it, because we we always look for the funny in like even traumatic moments, right? Right. And I think that's where we can lose ourselves. Yeah. You know, because you can make light of a situation that's like could have been the worst day of your life. Yeah. And it's kind of weird that we we do that. I I do have jokes about like one of the worst days of my life. And I'm trying to think about how long it took me to go from this is the worst day of my life to this is going to be some of my best material. Which is a weird thought. Because you don't get to like separate yourself from the moment. Because you, you have to remember what's going on so that you can write it down and tell your story. So it's like, yeah, this is all bad, but what's, what's, what's funny about this? What's weird about this? What's, what am I going through right now? And that's that's a a heavy task man for any person oh yeah, yeah yeah you know like just just going through it is 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 shitty enough and now you're like you're going through it but you're trying to document it and then make it funny like it's one thing if we were just like documenting our lives and we went up there and we're like yo um i got in a car crash today blah blah but it's like man i got in a car crash and this lady was so old like you know you have to, like <laughs> she's so old yeah, yeah like it's you know you have to it's so crazy what what we do, yeah. and then we like add on things, right? Like she was so old, and she got the you know she had those shaky hands, right? Those shaky hands. Yeah. But when that happened, we don't think about that shit. No, we're like that was fucked up, right? So we just like it's like we completely it's like a what's what's a movie? I don't know, like oh, fuck, like sun, eternal sunshine, eternal sunshine, the spotless mind. Yeah, yeah, but like we like replace the memories. You know? Ooh, replace the memories in a sense like we always know it's there Mm -hmm. but what we're doing is we're kind of doing like the you know the rose colored glasses looking back on the Uh relationships it's kind of like that but we like add stuff on add stuff you have to add what your frame of mind was and then you kind of add what their frame of mind was even though you don't even 
talk to that person. Yeah, or, you know yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, it's not, you're you're no you're, idea who they you're, are. you're you're thinking about what you're thinking about. And you're like thinking, what the hell were they thinking about? And then you put that out, and then you give it to some complete strangers, like, and hope they pay attention. For them to judge, right? Hope it's funny. Yeah. Like all this relationship material, I have to write to, and I've been writing to, and I have to make it funny, or else it's just. This guy was in an abusive relationship. But I have to show you why it's funny. I was in an abusive relationship. Get them to be able to see it from your perspective yeah. of why now it is. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's things I've tried, man, where I, I was like, oh, it's going to be funny. And they'll just look at me with, like, worry. Exactly. Like, are you yeah. okay? Yeah, seriously, like that. And I'm like, guys, it's fine. I'm okay. I'm okay. But even when I say that, I'm like, well, I'll address the crowd. What's going on? They go like, huh, huh. Right. You know, it's just- yeah. So you have to, it's like, you have to decide how real you're going to get with them. Yeah, because you don't want it to turn into a support group. You want it to be hilarious. Yeah, we don't want it to be like an AA group. No. AA meeting. But sometimes you probably need that. Like, this was therapeutic. This, this was therapeutic. You know what I'm saying? I didn't expect that. Like be, I, you, you know, you kind of forget about it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, you were saying? No, no. I was like, it would just be weird if, I, if every time I told you what happened or every time you talked about your relationship, we had to make a joke out of it. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just imagine that, and it's kind of funny in my head. Yeah, because it's funny. But that's what we do on stage. That is true. We're gonna t- we're gonna you're gonna say these same experiences on stage, but you're gonna make it funny. But talking about it now, we we both had some experience. We're like, holy shit, that should not have happened. Yeah. Or wow. You know why? Because because it's from a comedian to a comedian to where we were like, hold on a minute, oh, that was fucked up. Oh, it was fucked up for me too. And then we're both just like, wait a minute, because if it's somebody else. Who's not a comedian? It's a little different. It's very different, right? And then you're like, okay, I just talk about it. We joke about it, ah, ah, ah. but then when it's another person, a fellow comedian who who does jokes, who has to think a certain way, and does like this level of understanding, it's like, wait a minute. Then it really makes you think, like, oh shit, it was fucked up. Yeah, you know, like for instance, uh, like three weeks ago, I was walking at this college, and there was a tree that was like four feet tall, and then. The, the branch fell. It's a huge branch, and it almost killed me. Wow. Then the first thing I did, I, jo- I dodged it by five in- inches. I right. barely jumped out of the way, and it went, poof, like, a huge fucking, like, you know. Um, And the first thing I did was literally run around, because it was, it was on a TV set, run around and tell all my friends that I almost died. Right. But I'm laughing, and I'm cracking up, and I'm just, like, like hollering, like, woo you guys, I almost fucking died, and I'm excited. I was... As soon as I dodged that, uh huh, literally my first thought was, I can't wait to tell everybody. Wow. Really? Swear to God. My friends talk about it still. That was to this your day. first thought? My first thought. Damn. It wasn't like, oh my God, I almost died. Right. Oh no. Oh my God. It was like, whoa, I dodged it. What the fuck? And then and then it was like, man, that jump I did looked so stupid. That was the first thought. Actually, mid-air when I jumped, like it was uh uh-huh. it was a really dumb jump. My first my thought mid-air. As I was dodging it, was this jump is so stupid. This jump, is, but it saved your life. It saved my life. Literally. Smartest jump you ever did. Yeah, but in my head, I was like, <laughs> I was like, I can't wait to do an act out and show and do it to my friends. Wow, isn't it fucked up? That is. You might need a break. I know, right? No, I actually took a break for this past week. I did one open mic because I was losing my mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's yeah, that's the thing too. And I felt you, guilty too. I was like, oh, right? Oh, you don't really, really want it. You don't really want to make it. Cause you're taking a break. Cause you're taking a break. But I, I was, I was losing my mind. Nah, you got to You got You got to be a human sometimes. That's what I forgot. You got to be a human. But I'm trying to be like my own court jester. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. It's it's comedy is therapeutic, but taking a break from comedy is therapeutic also. I feel so rejuvenated now. You now should. that it's been like six days without it. Yeah. To be honest. And I was. I've been making working on my videos and my. Po- I'm still doing my podcast. I'm Obviously. still doing things. Obviously, I know. Right? Like, right. Yeah. Right now. Right now. Are we recording? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are we, are we, were we recording this whole time? But yeah, man, that it, it's it's kind of like you're the first comedian that I talked to about this, mm-hmm. like in this way with the tree branch thing, because everybody else was not comedians, and you're also making me realize even more. Uh, I was pretty fucked up. Yeah, because because when, when I I say the same thing to other people, like, yeah, yeah, that like, I, my first thought was just telling everybody, and they're like, wow, that's kind of weird. I'm like, yeah, but then then I'm talking to you, and you're like, yo, really, and I'm like, oh shit. Because I have the same, it's, yeah, com, when you talk comic to comic, it's more, 
especially if you can talk comic to comic and the other and and you you guys are, aren't on stage when you're talking if you understand what i'm saying Absolutely. like there's some comics you talk to and they feel like they have to be funny in the conversation it's like yo we can we can just talk <laughs> nobody you don't have to try out material we could just we could just talk it's a calm down you calm know down. yeah stop like, trying to like sneak in the yeah, joke no, into the no, conversation no, do we good so yeah i with i know the grind if you're talking to somebody else who doesn't know the grind they can't really relate all the way nope. not only do i know the grind i, I know your mind state too because i'm thinking the same thing if i don't hit my number of mics if i'm not doing my material if i'm not writing so but also we're humans at the end of the day too you need to take a break and be human. You need to be Mike Kim or just Mike. Like I'm John Taylor on stage. I need some days from John. In real life, I'm just Michael. Michael? Be Michael. Be Michael. I wanted to make a Michael Kim comedy, uh-huh. but people can't spell Michael, so I changed it to Mike. Well, well, people call me Mike, and that's always been there. That's fine. But to me, in my head, when I introduce myself, I'm always like, Michael. And from there, they can decide what they want to call me. Michael <laughs> they want to Mike. Call you Mike, Mike, or Michelle. If they, if they, if they want. <laughs> Who knows? Now Who they, knows, right? Right. And then, and then it got to the point where I just would start only introducing myself as Mike. Yeah. Like, I took that persona and, and accepted it wholeheartedly as just, that's just me. I, yeah, I was a I was JT for like three years. Because people were like, would like, would just give me that name, that nickname. So then I just had to like introduce myself as JT because they were going to call me that sooner or later. But now I'm like 30 and JT's seems like he's in a boy band. So <laughs> John Taylor. Yeah, JT, I think, yeah, JT at 30 years and older is kind of like, like, do you still play with Hot Wheels? Like, right? what's going on? Yeah. Or or I have to be like some Hollywood producer. Hollywood producer or music producer. producer. Yeah. Producer, period. Producer. Then it's like, yo, oh, dude, yeah, JT's the man. JT, right there. Yeah, you should, you, you should say hi. Yeah, it's my say hi. Demo. Yeah, just, just say it. Yeah. That happens at like, <laughs> at somebody's like shows too. They're like, hey, yo, you know that guy? I'm like, no. He's like, you don't know him? It's blah blah blah. Mm. Like he's somebody good to know. Like you say, what's up? I'm like, yeah, but then now that's in my head, and I feel like I want something from them, right? Because I I don't really, I never really wanted to talk to them to begin with. Yeah, and they know why you're coming up to say hi. Yeah. <laughs> so so then it it has like an adverse effect. Yeah. Sometimes I think did they do that because they want to see if I can talk to them so that they can talk. Of course. Or else like, they would those, just oh, say yeah, hi. those little fuckers. Fuck those motherfuckers. Yeah. Dude, we got we got this, we we we, 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 we hit topics. we hit some shit, man. We 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 were on an archaeology archaeological dig. dig. We've discovered some dinosaur bones, we did. and then we we were like brushing up, and then you were like, "Holy shit, there's something over here." I was like, "All right, we'll get to that later. Yeah. Let's just let's excavate this right now, though, and then we'll come back and we'll excavate that because we know where that is because because the other stuff." We we put little pickets and yeah, there's like, a flag right there. Like yeah, lines. We'll, we'll get it. Yeah, yeah. Nobody cross up. No, no, no. Because that's that's our our that's our land. Dig site. Yeah, but we're gonna focus on this Tyrannosaurus. Bam. Rex. We gotta get we gotta get every single bone, and I think we I think we did. We did, and you know what? I think this episode is very necessary too because most I'm gonna really say put it out there. Like, put it out there. But most men, I don't think, understand that they can be emotionally and physically abused too i think they understand that they can but i i don't know if they know that other people are going through it too or that and, it's even happening to them at yeah, the moment because you know we always like, oh, yeah yeah or the seriousness of it because that was that that seemed to be the theme for both of us is we didn't realize like how fucked we were no yeah <laughs> <laughs> we're like we're getting messed up here yeah yeah damn guys look if you're a guy mm. and you and you and you have to think twice about hey <laughs> should this be happening? Yeah, should this be happening or is this normal? Look deeper into it. Look. Please look into it. Don't do do this stupid man shit. Just look into it. Tell yourself is the first feeling that you have of like like discomfort or fear or worry blow that up in your head. To, to, to give you a chance to even think about it. Because if you don't blow it up in your head, you're going to stuff it real quick. And talk to somebody about it. Get a, get an outside perspective on it. That's what's big. Yeah. Because I think if I were to talk to somebody, like, truly about it, like, yo, this is what happened. And to be honest, it scared me a little bit. 
or to be honest, I'm, I'm I feel depressed after this happens. Yeah. They would have been like, "Yo, that's not supposed to happen. This you need you need to you need to get out because it's not going to get better." Oh my God, I forgot you reminded me. I did tell people about it. Really, my best friend, homegirls, everybody said. Even I remember my best friend was like looking me into my eyes, and he never really looked like that before. He's like, "Really, Mike, leave this crazy." Bitch, she is insane. And I was like, yeah, you're, you're right. I will. You know what? You're right. I w-. No. When we say that, we don't w- mean What that. happened? You just, you know what? I, 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 I never, I didn't talk to too many people about it. Yeah. I don't even know if I really went too deep. Probably I told, I know I told one person, but it wasn't with the seriousness that I'm talking to like you, you know, but it's, it's hard to. It's it's out of sight, out of mind. It's easy to focus or it's easy to know what you need to do when you're not in that situation. Like everybody knows how to disarm somebody with a gun until that person has a gun and they're right behind them, you know? Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, man, I would just spin real quick, knock that shit out. Yeah, Jackie, Chan, Jackie, Jackie Chan shit, man. You ain't fucking with me. Yeah. Not me. And then, of course, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you, you know do? You know what I'm saying? Go yeah. pull up. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> So it's 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 hard. It's different. But you gotta you probably have to like go with a friend. Like have the friend drive you to the breakup and be like, look, if you're not out of there in ten minutes, I'm coming in and I'm speaking sense. Oh, yeah, people do do that, huh? Yeah. yeah I mean right. that's that's what friends like that's what people should be doing. You should be able to trust somebody so much as like, look, I need you to help me break up with this girl. Or, you know, if you're a female, I need you to help me break up with this guy because I don't get it when I'm alone with him or her. I don't get it when I'm alone with my partner. It's always blurry. But if you're there and you're talking sense, I can do this. And I know I need to do this. But even then, they could still go back unless they block them. If you go, yeah. it's And it's hard It's hard to, to not get contact. There's so many ways you can track people down now. Too much social media. Too much. Like, think about it. You don't need high school reunions anymore because you can just look up whoever the fuck you want on Facebook. That's true. What? What? Everybody's trackable, man. Everybody's trackable. Yeah. The reason why I got, I'll say this last thing about the ex. The reason why I got back with her the last time was because she emailed me. Really? She, she said, hey, look, uh, I just wanted to say, like, say how you're doing, say hi. Yeah, you don't have to respond to this if you don't want. That's always bullshit. Anytime, of course, anytime, of course, of course. you don't have to do this thing if you don't want. That means they want you to do it. And I knew it was bullshit. But then I talked to this 18 year old who was my, one of my um, college mates, or whatever. And and my my dumbass took this 18 year old's <laughs> fucking <laughs> opinions, you advice. And I'm 20. <laughs> I'm like 24. Ah. Uh, and she's like, you know what? She really cares about you. That's why she did that. And I'm like, no, but I mean, no, she would like, you know, hit me. He's like, look. Sometimes we all lose it. Mm. What I mean, haven't you done stuff, Michael? I'm like, yeah, I mean, I never hit anybody, but I did do. You know, I was fucked up to people, and she's, she's like, "Yeah, we're just human, mm. okay." And that conversation made me go back to her for another six months yeah. of torture and pain. Yeah, guys, block the mother effing person, <laughs> God, girl, they, hey, who, what, when, and stay when. Stay strong. Stay strong. Stay strong. It'll pass. You'll live. Think of everything you went through that was horrible. Yes. And you got eventually over it. And, and you'll find somebody. And Keep you will find somebody. And if you don't, that's fine. That's cool too. Just just be happy being yourself in the journey. Love yourself. But yeah, it was it was it's still tough. I'm not gonna lie. Being single? Yeah. What's tough? Well, not being single. Uh sometimes like especially around the holidays. Oh, I know what you mean. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what hits you the most because especially when the weather starts getting cold. Oh, my God. You're like, you feel the loneliness to your bones, man. I've been there for so long. And and they used to cook the best holiday food. My my taste buds crave for those recipes. But my nervous system enjoys the peace around the holidays now. So we're going we're gonna to follow the nervous system. Follow their nervous. <laughs> guys, guys, you have learned a lot today. Oh. We we dug deep. We got honest. Yes, we did. There's probably things you don't hear often. 
or ever. Or ever. <laughs> That's true. That, guys, yeah, this is not. But you know what? We are comfortable enough with ourselves to put this out there. Yes, and because we, we care about you. So, look. Mr. Taylor, do you have a final word? My final word is, oh, man. If it doesn't seem right, it probably isn't. And and value your own self-worth over, over anything else because it's you at the end of the day. And if you're not happy with yourself or if you don't respect yourself, then they're not going to do it. And if you don't stand up for yourself, then they're not going to stop. So you have to... You have to be your own limit and you have to be your own appraiser and just be your own person and be comfortable in your skin. And that would be my final word. Mr. John Taylor, thank you for what you said. Mm. Now. (laughs) Why am I talking like this? (laughs) I don't know. Because it was deep. Where can they find you on uh, social media? On, I'm on all my my uh, handles are at John Taylor Show Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and just John Taylor on Facebook. John with a J O H yeah J O H N T A Y L O R S H O W at John Taylor Show. All right, so you heard it. You know what it is. We got real, and thank you for listening to the set. Breaker podcast. Set Breaker. Set Breaker. And we will do a part two <laughs> in the future. <laughs> yes, talk we will. about some deeper, some deep- deeper oh, things. Man. It's going to hit hard. Horde. Horde as fuck. Like like West Coast gangster horde. Horde. Yeah. Yeah, not that East Coast. No, no, no. Horde. Yeah. So, guys, I will see you next time. Actually, we will see you next time. Yeah. On a future Set Breaker future podcast. One. But for me, I'm going to see you next week. So until then, have a good weekend. I love you. Peace. Peace out. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah.